The first episode of season 7 of 90 Day Fiancé Happily Ever After had many moments that made me shudder, and now the couples have even more fantastic behavior ahead of them. 90 Day Fiancé Happily Ever After premiered this weekend. Not all couples were provided in the first episode, but it was enough to get an idea of which teams will be the most disgusting in season 7. According to my observations, the least favorite spin-off of the 90 Day Fiancé franchise is Happy to Infinity. Luckily it's back and fans are already wearying. The first episode was the beginning of several cutthroat storylines and fans have already received much negative feedback on social media. The 90 Days of Being Groomed franchise has some likable couples featured in the recently concluded season 9 that viewers want to root for, but TLC cares little for the return of those fans want to see and continues to cast the stars which cause the most controversy. Well, yeah, of course, what else to watch then? Season 7 of Happily Ever After starred Big Ed Brown, Angela Deem, Elizabeth Pothast, and other stars who have been criticized for being boring, predictable and even problematic. Season 7 of Happily Ever After got off to a bad start and fans took to social media en masse to voice their complaints. Many feel that the new season is already too cringe-worthy and annoying, but some couples are awful and some contestants are not problematic for fans to watch. Jovi Dufren and Yara Zeya Yara Zeya and Jovi Dufren may be the most watchable couple. Their drama centered around Yara's new friends and the tension between Yara and Jovi over wanting to leave home. However, their acting is scripted because I have seen a different side of them over the past few months. Shaida Sween and Bilal Hatsiz I'll be honest with you, I don't want to see this couple in Happy to Infinity, I find them disappointing. Their participation in Happy to Infinity won't escape critical discussion on social media, though probably watching them won't be as hard as some other contestants. Jenny Slatton and Sumit Singh there is always something awkward about Sumit Singh and Jenny Slatton's relationship. Still, they have a relatively good relationship after they were married for a long time on 90 Day Fiancé the other way. In the first episode, Jenny and Sumit had a tense meeting with Sumit's parents. Nevertheless, their united front strengthens their relationship. Angela Deem and Michael Elizanmi the first episode only showed one half of this couple, and that was too much. Angela's debut return to the franchise was as crude as the wild claims that she could get any man after she changed her appearance, but not her identity. Suppose TLC was hoping Angela would cause controversy, buzz and criticism this season. In that case, she's probably already passed her reality show debut because this week she caused almost no buzz on social media and her storyline has become rather passively annoying. Kim Menzies and Usman Umar From my observations, Kim Menzies and Usman Umar will be one of the most awkward and exciting couples this season. Kimberly and Usman's relationship is stranger than any other couple. Kim has gone from groupie to super groupie, from potential to girlfriend, and now plans to propose to Usman. This season, fans can expect exciting developments from Kim and Usman that will leave them in shock. Elizabeth Pothast and Andrew Kastravet Although I have found Lady and Andrew Kastravet's storyline in the past to be boring and obnoxious, this season the couple is preparing for a different kind of journey. While season 7 of Happy to Infinity will likely feature Lady's second pregnancy, the first episode clearly shows her desire to pursue a career as a singer. It was shown to be a record-breaking moment because no one knew Libby had any musical ability. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.